guys. Hey, pals. How you doing today? I'm sorry for such late notice, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to do a video at all today. But then it worked out. And I've got a really cute project I think you'll uh, really enjoy. It it uh, incorporates techniques that we've done already, but there are some little ins and outs that we could share with you that will make when you work with those techniques a little bit better than <coughs> maybe you already knew or maybe you haven't used them yet and thought maybe you would, but didn't feel like you knew enough. Well, we'll take care of that tonight. I just want to get this opened out so you can see it. It's really pretty. It's a shabby chic charm bracelet and I use the silverware charms which you know for charm bracelet making are especially nice although I have to say I kind of have this thing about not liking to go over the silverware plating not because there's anything wrong with it it's just because it costs so much more you know so I like oh man you know maybe it'd be smarter to just use a, a, a raw piece and work it up or maybe brass ox takes color really good too but then you don't get the silver look so and two uh, rather than using raw you know when you use raw you have to finish the back too but when you use a plated piece then you don't so I'm just getting this all straightened out so you could see it so <clears throat> I used several little um, charms that we have quite a few of at the site some of them are a little bit newer. Most of them we've had for a while. But isn't that pretty? I like it anyway. And, of course, what I did, you know, like, you know what I usually do when I make a charm bracelet? I also make an extender piece in case you want to wear it for a necklace, too. Because when I made the, the parts, <coughs> I thought, well, those are kind of, they're really pretty, but they're a little big for a charm bracelet. And I said, well, some people won't care, you know. But then I thought, well, for a necklace, it would be really great. It would be really perfect. But I didn't just go ahead and make them a necklace because then you don't have this option. So I felt kind of like it's always a good option to just make the charm bracelet and then make yourself an extender. And then if you want more charms going up along the sides, then you can do that if you like. You know, it's up to you. Just give you a what if. So I have a lobster claw on one end in case you haven't done this before. Down a little bit. And then uh, there's the one that's on the bracelet on the other end. So on one end, on this, like a, it's like a really long bracelet, you know. I do 10 inches. Now, if you need it longer, that's fine. But the bracelet is about seven and a half. And then you have a little extra space with the, with the lobster and the connector piece. So it's more like about 18 inches. And for this, that's about right. You don't want this to be too long. It's good if it's just, you know, right up along your, just collarbone. below your collarbone. Yep. Yeah, so that's better that way. So anyway, so that's pretty too. So if you wanted <clears throat> to stretch it out and make keep going up, all you'd have to do is just take and add a few more charms going up the sides and put them on that and then you'd have something on there for when you, you know, want to wear it that way. Or you could just not save these for another project because they take a little time to make. And then just put some small charms, some silver ones going up. But I don't know. I think if you, since this has so much color, I think you'd be better off going ahead and used, using colored pieces. So anyway, what we used is, I use this piece, which is on the website. This is a smaller version of this which you're probably familiar with. This one's been popular for a long time. Um, and I also used um, this one. And there's another one on here too, but I used them all and didn't bring an extra one out. So it's this one. Let me just step it out a little bit and you can probably see which one it is. So then, you know, we do have this one. We've carried that a lot. So we do have them in stock. So you can use those. They work really well, but <coughs> if you like something else, then use something else. Let's see who all's here so yeah. far. Karen. We've got Karen's here, Colleen, Colleen. Chris. Is, hey, it's good to see you, Chris. And who's that? Ilyanka. Hey, Ilyanka. And Karen, Deborah Long, Sheree Millers. Jan. Jan and Dara. Dara, yay. Oh, that's a nice group, especially for me being I'm watching. <coughs> so last minute at and you know, today. letting you guys know. I was going to do just to do a produced one, and it wouldn't be live. But then I actually have more time to get ready 
if I do if I do it um, as a live video. So I thought, well, this time I'll go back to a live. Um, but anyway, that's what I got this time. We won't have as many lives going forward unless I'm doing a class. Yeah. Uh, because we find out we found out from the YouTube. YouTube analytics that more people watch them when they're not live and they're shorter. So we're going to try that for a while. But we won't forget you. We'll come back with a live once in a while because yeah. they're like a party, aren't they? And we really enjoy them. There, there's Melissa. They hey. said it was beautiful, your necklace. It's oh, so pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I thought Very you would pretty. say that. I thought That's you would so like pretty. it. That's what it and it's, it's so easy to make. So you're going to need for this project, besides, you know, charm bracelets and chain and I used to be link chain from the website we still have some I thought we had a lot but I went out there to grab some for this project and we don't we only have maybe 50 feet if it shows more it's because I need to adjust inventory because I took some out so um, there's not a lot there and I am not sure I can get more although I will probably give them a call and try but the last time I think I told you it took like six months and I gave up on it and I was looking elsewhere to see if I could find anything like it and I did find um, a Korean firm that made it, but they didn't play it already. And, you know, for me to get raw from over there and have them ship it here is expensive, of course. And then I have to send it out to the player and have him do it. And he kind of charges a lot for this kind of a finish. So I could get down to where, you know, I had so much money in it that I'd really have to jack the price up really high. I mean, I think it's high enough already. So I, I just keep watching and looking. I did find it in gold once, and it worked out pretty good. You guys seem to like it. But I'm, I'm continuing to search for this because it's been a favorite for us for a really long time. So. Well, Melissa, Lisa, Beansy, Betty, and Debbie are here. Oh, Hello. Yeah. Oh, Debbie, you didn't miss anything yet. Yeah, we're we just, just getting started. started. I just talking about the parts that I use for my bracelet and how that I made an extender for it so you can make it a necklace. Uh, the bracelet is about seven and a half inches or so. Um, it's not tight, tight, but it gives you a little, a little bit. You know, it comes down about like this, which is what I like because I might want to layer a little small like. Uh, pattern silver chain with it or something you know I like to layer things you guys know that so um, if you make it much longer than that though it's going to come way down like this and it's not going to fall off your hand probably but you won't like it it'll bother you so seven and a half that includes the lobster class so when you cut it when you cut the chain you're probably going to want to do like at the most seven and a quarter at the most and maybe just seven will work too Especially if you're making it for yourself and you have a smaller wrist or you're making it for somebody that you know has a smaller wrist, you know, you just have to be guided by that. So, but this one is about seven and a half with the, with the lobster claw on it. And then this piece is 10 inches, but then it's got a lobster claw on it. So it's probably about total 10 and a half with the lobster claw on it. And for anybody that didn't catch what I did or has not see me do convert convertible bracelet before i'm going to go back on that and show you kind of slowly so that you can see it it's, it's very easy just cut about 10 inches of chain okay and then go ahead and apply your lobster on one end only you don't need to and then you put a hanging loop on the other just like you're making like a bracelet only it's way way big okay <clears throat> and then what you'll do on your bracelet, you have the loop at the end for you to fasten it, and then you have a lobster claw. So you just kind of switch it up, and what you do is you take your lobster claw, and you'll put it through that loop, of course, and then on the other side, you'll take the one that is on the bracelet already and put it through this extra loop that you put on here, and voila, there you go. So you can use it or not use it. You can put more stuff on it or not. You know, Personally, I kind of like it the way it is. I don't like to get too much. One thing I did with this, I used some um, jumps that I had, um, so I didn't have to go looking because I was kind of running short of time as usual. So I used eight millimeter jumps on that, and that's okay, especially for the ends. But I think this would look better and probably not swing around as much if you did six. So I may go back and switch them out, or not. And you really don't have to, it's okay, but... You know, I've said so many times, if you use a jump that's too big, 
You see how this kind of sticks up here? I don't care for that. If you don't mind, you know, no one's ever complained to me about it, but if you don't like that, then really it means you need a smaller jump. Now, four would probably be too small, although it might work. But I, I think six is the best. And we did get some new jumps in, by the way. Some ordered them in bulk. So if you're one of those people, I need this weekend to go through that stuff and get it ready for you. But um, we did get them, so I'll get them back in stock ASAP for you, okay? So what I also wanted to tell you is you need some Mod Podge or anything that's like this. You know, there's a whole bunch of different things like that. You know, it could probably... I don't know if white glue would work or not. It probably would if you thinned it a little bit. But anyway, I like Mod Podge. It's been around the longest. It's reliable, so that's what I usually use. So Mod Podge you're going to need. And you're going to need a little bit of rice paper. I like this one. We have this in stock right now. And I love it because it has so many tiny motifs on it. So I don't have to really look too hard in the pattern to see, you know, what I can use. Although that's a clever thing to do. I know when Sarah Jones makes hers, she looks around in the pattern and she comes up with some unique things. And I have to think for a minute, what paper is that, you know? But um, you can make it happen with big, bigger motifs, but this one's just easier. And it's pretty for this kind of bracelet. You don't want to kind of, you know, it's busy enough. You know, so I wanted it kind of a little bit delicate. So you need Mod Podge and you need your resin. This is a big bottle of it. Um, we have pretty the smaller good. Bottle. Yeah, we have the smaller bottle, which is probably enough. Yeah. <laughs> I just, you know, we use it a lot, so I go ahead and get it. But um, we have them in stock. And then you're going to need um, some perfect pearls. Um, I'm going to use probably Iris. And pink gumball, and maybe, maybe poppy. Yeah, to get my color. I don't know. Javi's gonna do that end of it because she has a formula for mixing this into resin that is like no fail. So I'm gonna trade seats with her in a few minutes and let her show that because she's better at it. And I want you to have the best instruction that we can give you. Okay, so you're gonna need that. And then, um, and I told you the papers you need. Also, some little embellishments if you want to use them. Like, for example, I put this little heart on it with the rhinestones in it. It is really pretty, and it is set with rhinestones all the way around. We just got them in not very long ago. But I didn't make a big deal out of them, so you might have missed them. But we have them. They're only a dollar a piece. Um, and then I also used these little tiny they're six millimeter resin roses they have great detail but they're itty bitty and I use them in my bigger piece in the center rather than putting a picture in that I use tiny pearls and I use these and I set them down into um, colored resin so you would kind of see that come up through the back so they're not glued down although if you wanted to do that you could but I would not recommend, for example, that you paint Mod Podge in here and then put them on. Um, only if you were going to do resin over. And I don't think you want to do resin over that. It will take the detail out of it. It will make it glurpy. So you need, if you're not going to do this, you need to use E6000 or maybe even HypoTube, something like that, to put it down in there. But I used pink resin. Mixed up just like this stuff. And you can lay stuff down in it, and, you know, resin's a glue. So it took really well, so long as you have enough behind it. I also made some that look like this. This is a new little heart for us, but we do have a good stock of them on the website. Let me see it here. Okay, and it's the same as this big piece, only it's tiny, okay? And then I put one little rose on there off to the side. I like kind of a little bit of asymmetric detail. Um, and that's pretty much it. So how about let's get it. I'm not going to put a bracelet all the way together because you guys know how to do that. You know, but I will just tell you briefly, lay your charms out first. Kind of like maybe you do beads on a bead board. Lay them out. And play with them back and forth, you know, how you think they're going to work. Maybe draw yourself a line, seven inches, so you make sure that you don't put too much. And then see how they're going to fit up. Then 
have them laid out and then just connect them. That's it. There's really not much more to it than that. So let's see what Mary says. Hello, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day to each of you. Great to see you, Brenda. You too. I've been praying for you and the rest of the people of East Palestine. Thank you so Thank much, you. Mary. Thank you so much. I, I got... will just tell you quick because I haven't seen you for a while. There's no fire here. Nobody lost their life and no homes were damaged. They just have to repair the railroad tracks. And because they're digging so deep and doing so much work, there's a little bit of smell in the air that some people are allergic to. And so there's some complaints about that. As far as anything else, we don't know if it got in our well. It's not in our drinking water supply downtown. Um, and we don't know the long-term health effects. It was certainly not a good thing that, yeah. it, that it happened. It was very, very frightening. And we are very grateful to the special hazmat team that came in at the, at the 11th hour. I mean, really, literally. Uh, they told us it was going to blow up, you know, within a certain amount of time. They got there in time. They told us what they were going to do. They told us it was not probably the most optimum solution, cleanest solution, but it was all they had at that time so that it wouldn't blow up. So, hey, you know, you got to go with it. So they did what they needed to do, and it worked. And we're that very grateful for that because um, there were some people in town who didn't evacuate. And they tell us that that would have sent burning shrapnel as much as a mile. So our town would have been burned down and people would have lost their life. So we're very, very grateful to them that that did not happen. Very, very happy about that. Um, and the rest of it is just details and we have to wait and see. But thank you so much for yeah, asking. A lot you. of people have been very concerned for us. But I want you to know we're okay. We're okay. Javi has some allergies and so does Rob. So, you know, them working down there and fuming the place up with dust because they're digging down really deep and hauling the dirt away. Um, that's, you know, been irritating them. But I don't live down there where they do. I'm up on the hill. Yeah. So I haven't hardly smelled it at all, but I did see it happen. And that was scary too. But yeah, we're okay. So let's see. There's Claire. Late to the point. You're never late. What do we say? I know you've been sick, Claire. I hope you're feeling better and that you do good with your show tomorrow. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy's here? Yeah, Nancy. Oh, thank you for coming, Nancy. And Pat, too. And yeah. Alice. Oh, we have a nice crowd. Yeah, we do. How nice is that? <laughs> I'm so glad. Well, I might have to do a little give giveaway. <laughs> I might just have to do that because we have a nice bunch. So <laughs> keep talking to me. Be part of the conversation. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to keep working on this piece that I need. And then I'm going to have Javi mix up the perfect pearls and show you how she applies them because she has a really good way. And let's see. There's this one you can put it on if you okay. want to, Javi. Are you going to show them how to decoupage the heart? Yeah, I am. I'm going okay. to do it after you do this. Oh, okay. You're first. I'm first. And then we're going to do good. the decoupage the heart thing. <laughs> and I'm also going to show them how to do the assemblage on this. Okay. So Sounds, we have some yeah. steps to go through. I was wondering how you did that one. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it. Not to worry. Not to worry, guys. No, we'll be showing you a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, you need your resin, your UV light for this. If yeah, you haven't you, mentioned you, that. that's the one that I had one left here. Then. You had one left? Yeah, but I didn't put it on because I like, you know, balance. Yeah. So everything's a certain way. Yeah, you're right. So, anywho, I'm going gonna, 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 gonna to change places with Javi. So here we go. I can show you the, the and resin. She's going to so. show you. Whoops, I just bumped it. Yeah. Are we okay? Oh, she'll fix it. Anyways. I'm clumsy, guys, if you didn't know that. Here's a bunch of papers that you can mix on, and there's uh, toothpicks right there, too. Yep. So I'm going to try not to knock our new tripod down. All righty. i got to fix it. <laughs> okay. So she's, this is kind of her little technique. I'll be showing you guys. So, of course, you need a plastic baggie, okay? <laughs> but haven't if we haven't mentioned that try to use the the side that doesn't have that what's it called this white part i use the other side the back side yeah that thing it comes off on stuff so you don't yeah that's why i don't want to yeah. and then you need some toothpicks you might need a couple 
not yeah. that many. <laughs> and you can be throwing them out, so what, what's, That's true. what's the problem? Maybe I should just get a couple more, actually. So you need toothpicks. They're pretty cheap. Oops. Yeah, I just buy, like, a bunch of toothpicks all at once. Yeah, me too. Um, what else do we need? Okay, so did you do several colors on these hearts? I did, and I don't know if that's a good idea or not. So, um, um, I don't think I will worry about that so much as just show them how to mix. Mix it? Yeah, yeah you're more and worried about And if they want to mix colors, then that'll be up to them. And I would say, if they're going to mix colors, then you would have to use a little less of each one, probably. I'm thinking because this. one thing I found yeah. is I did it kind of stupid yesterday. I mean, I, it worked for me, and they're good. But I got a lot of glurpiness, which I was not expecting. And it was because I had way too much Perfect Pearls in it. Okay. So she's going to show you just how to do it. I'm going to use this one and the little baby one just for demonstration okay. purposes. Okay, so we got the toothpick. Okay, we need the resin. Okay, where's the UV light? What happened? Garbo 99. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for coming. Thank yes, you for thank the you kind for, words. Yeah. Yeah, nobody needs to worry about yes. us anymore. It's the first week or so, yeah, baby. We're okay well, now. We just have to hang in. Yeah, thank you for your prayers. Too. Yes, <laughs> appreciate it. Okay, so we got the UV resin. Okay, I might have to scoot up a little bit more. I just noticed I'm like off camera. Okay, so of course Brenda has a big one. If you have the other one with the tube, it's it's much easier to pour it out. Yeah, that one's kind of well. I do have a little one, but I'm is I've had it for a while. It's been open for a while, even though it's been sealed up tight. I'm a little concerned that maybe um, it might be old. So that's why I did not use it. Oh, the one that was here. Yeah. Oh no, I used that. Oh really? Well, then use it. <laughs> This would be easier. I mean, we have this yeah, size. Yeah, it's easier, but I was I just didn't want to, you know, last night I was doing this kind of late, and I just didn't want to mess around and do a bunch of them like, oh, no, no. Okay, you only need a little drop, like a little dot. It's not that much. Let me see if I can zoom in here. And then I'm just going to get my, my iris color here. For this drop, probably at least three perfect pearl scoops of an, on a toothpick. So if you see that, one. Two, three, oh, that kind of like, okay, that's four. So I'm going to do like four scoopies. <laughs> I need everything I name. And now I just swirl it. Swirl it. Make sure you get all the perfect pearls in there. Smash it a little bit. Like hey, Michelle. Smashing the burger. <laughs> Sorry. I don't like anybody to feel ignored. Now then, just smash it. Make sure like... The perfect pearls have to be blended very good with with the resin. So yes, sometimes you see like a little bit of um, if you see like even just a little bit like off to the side, and if you don't mix it very well, it does like the resin rises and makes like little mm -hmm. clumps in your your pieces. You so you guys like have it. to like squish the powder, and then less is more. You know, this is pretty nice make it look like it's not grainy if you need more resin go ahead and put some more you can always put like a little bit more and i didn't use a lot of resin if you've seen that because you know i just don't like pouring a lot it's just easier so it's not as goopy so i gotta have one here just make sure to mix it all the way so that's all good and then i use the same toothpick or you can use another toothpick and then just pour your um, your resin in there. Let's see if I can get this on frame here. Yep. One little dot. And then I just you know, try to swirl it around. Not swirl it around. Just try to fill in all the corners here. That didn't take a lot for this little one. You know, you don't need a whole lot. I'm just trying to get all the corners. You know, if you want, you can always tilt it to see if it filled all the corners. Because mm -hmm. sometimes the light helps. So that looks pretty good. You want to put a little rose in the corner there? Because I needed an extra one and didn't have it. You see those little lavender or pink roses? Yeah. Just make sure there's enough resin under it. So you might have to put like a little drop more resin up in the corner where you're going to put it. Oh. So just make sure there's enough resin under it. I always usually do that after. 
Well, okay, then do it however you do it. That's okay. how I do it. Yeah, I would kind of sink in, though, if you know what I mean. Well, you could have some of this displaced, but you want to be sure you get it under the back. Yeah. Really okay. good. Well, I wanted to put another color inside. Oh, okay. Like, uh, what was When it? you're done, then put the rose on it, and then I'll have another one to go where I didn't have one. Okay. I'll still put the rose on top. Okay, that's I just what wanted I wanted to get. Oh, that's what I want you to do, because then I can put on my bracelet, because I kind of had to interrupt the order of things, because I didn't have it. I'm going to use right. gumball, so I can have, like, a little... Gumball. Gumball, one, two... I think it's in stock, too. At least I, I meant to order. So. We have a good bit of perfume. There's a few that are out. That's true. But uh, we have, I'll be getting them next time, which will be coming up before too long. So I'm trying to mix this here. Is this gumball? Hmm? I don't know. This is not gumball. This is well, coffee. Well, it says... I put, the, I put the thing in front of me, and then I did the wrong one. Oh, you did the wrong one. Whatever. <laughs> Poppy's pretty, too. Like okay, it. well, we'll just put it in the middle. I don't know how that will blend, but, you know. Oh, there's, like, a little string in there. That will happen. Make, make sure you don't have any dust near where you're working at. <laughs> or, that like, little fur bunnies. what she wants to work on next. She needs to get that chain. Well, sooner than later, Pat, not to tell you to, like, hurry or anything, but I do only have about 50 foot left of it, and I'm not sure. If I can get it again, or if I do get it, it's probably going to take a long time. Okay, I'm just so. going to put a little drop in there. I hope not, but probably will. Not that much. I'm just going to put one drop in the middle. If it comes out. Maybe make it into a heart shape. There you go. Probably not big enough, but you know. Mm. There we go. Okay, so then I'm just going to put Brenda's little... Up in the upper right. Right. <laughs> That's where I like it. On the right side. And just put it in and just press it very very lightly maybe use your it kind of it kind of fell in there <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah just make sure it's got enough yeah i think it yeah does. i think it does because, because like, that extra know, it's not the same as e6000 resin resin's a glue but it's not like you're using e6000 so you want it to be down there and have it be sure it's got enough resin behind it so that you don't have issues with it coming so off. that's what it looks like pretty 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 so now I'm going to put in the so UV light. Here, she's going to put it in the light. And what were we saying, Javi? We found that you might have to spend a little bit more time curing it because... Because the perfect pearls, if you don't cure... Because it's not, it's not like if we're putting alcohol ink into resin and it will cure faster. This is a little bit deeper, so the color just... The color is deeper, of course. If it was lighter, yes, it would it's cure not faster. not just plain resin. Plain yeah. resin cures fastest. You put stuff into it. And then it still can cure, but it takes a little bit longer. So I was finding last night, I was having to, like, put the light back on, like, Daily? eight, ten times. Yeah. But then, remember, I got too much in mine. Okay. So that might be why. Okay. Let's see if I can use gumball this time without my brain going haywire. <laughs> and then another thing, too, guys, if, and we were just talking about this earlier, I mean, I, if your stuff stays tacky after a little bit, what you can do, I mean, you can keep curing it and it will work, but if it's a nice, bright, sunny, if you live somewhere it's nice and bright and sunny or it's summertime or whatever, you can run it outside and let it sit in bright, bright sunlight and it will cure up real fast. Some people don't even buy the, the, the nail lights. They have enough bright sunlight where they live that they just let it cure outside. That's so, true. Anyway. I'm going to block this here. Yeah, dog hair can be a problem. Yeah, dog hair, cat hair. <laughs> we have cat. She's long-haired, so we're dealing with that. Oh, there's Chris. This gumball is very bright. <laughs> it is kind of bright. I would... I see why you wanted to mix prefer it. Prefer it be a little bit muted, yeah. I pr probably what I should have done was put some pearl in it. Pearls? Dirt. Pearls? Yeah, I have some pearl. Okay, I'm just going to... Well, I think it's just pearl X, but you could use it. I'm going to use this first. I know I don't have a lot, so I'm going to sacrifice. 
Yeah, this one's a little fussier because you have a domed surface. Yeah. With the other heart, you have an actual bezel in it, like a little bit of a well. But this one doesn't. Yeah, this one's a little tricky. You've got to go slow and easy because you don't want it to run outside the lines. It'll make a mess. You can clean it up if you get it quick, but then you'll have it all over your fingernails and everything else. And, you know, who wants to go through that? Yeah, so just that's be, true. Just take your be time. Be careful. Take your time. And a toothpick is the best way to apply it. Less resin is better. Even if you have a really fine um, brush. I got some here not too long ago, and I really like them, but... Um, you know, it was ruining them because it's resin. You know, I couldn't clean it out too good. So I just use a toothpick and throw it away. It's the best. I'm trying to get this to the corners as much as possible here. I found that out when I'm using dark purple. Mm -hmm. Dark purple? Mm -hmm. But they find out? Maybe Did you it find took it longer to cure or something? Yeah, with dark Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. The yes, darker so, the color, the longer yeah, it takes to cure. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up, Deborah. Yes, thank you. That was very helpful. I've totally forgot about that. We try that. to remember everything, and there's two of us. Here I know too, it's and like we're still forgetting stuff. Like I usually use like sometimes I'll use like the white uh, perfect curls to mix with the uh, resin, and I know that doesn't take too long. <laughs> yeah. That's probably like the quickest one you can get. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just put a little bit of gumball right in the center. Yeah, I don't want to contaminate it. Now, Javi's made a number of bracelets with color like this. I think you sold most of them, haven't you? Mm hmm Yeah, people like, I usually put a piece of cardboard in front of my UV light or have to turn it so as not to cure it. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in tight space and can't turn it away, yeah, it, it can do that sometimes. What I don't like is, you know, you can do this with regular two-part resin. Of course, you won't use the thing to cure it because it has to cure on its own. But if you don't have as much time to, to work with it because it, especially if your workshop is warm or you have a lot of lights on it so you can see, it'll start curing it. That's true. I put some uh, two-part in a cup. Somebody had said, put it on your cup warmer. I could put a candle on your cup, whatever, keep your coffee warm for about five minutes after you mix it. Well, I put it on there and then I forgot. And I came back in about 20 minutes and it was almost hard as a stump. Oh, already that's how that came out. Doing that, so, yeah. Well, that came out really nice. Do you yeah. see that, guys? See, Bernard here. I'll bring it up. Let me get my resin out and play. It's been a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty. I like that. I mixture. like that. It looks actually ten. So you did you did the gumball and the purple? Yeah, the purple first, the then the, the gumball. Then just the a gumball. little a little bit of purple. See, yeah. I didn't use a lot. You see no. guys? <laughs> and then just stick it in the UV light. Yep. With the other guy. Is there any left? No, no, yeah, there's no. a little bit of gumball and a little bit of this no, one left. No, so you no. can do whatever you guys want. Yeah. I mean like you mix the colors, you get you know, just be careful, you know, when you're mixing and make sure. Looks really nice, but right. clearly Brenda tried it and looks great. <laughs> it, it looks okay, but like I say, I wanted her to do this because she's she does it more often than I do. And um, she I knew she knew some tricks that I didn't. Yes, because yeah, like she... I say, mine worked. They're fine. But it took a little bit of messing to you get got, them that way. Yeah, you got to smash those little those I powders. used way too much Perfect Pearls powder. And uh -huh. the reason why Perfect Pearls powder works so yeah. nicely with... The resin is because it has resin in it, has a resin binder, remember? So, uh, you know, they go together fine. It's just, it's powder you want to get, excuse me, too much. Well, you didn't there. use any of these in your design. No, I forgot I had them. Show them. <laughs> Show, do you have enough to put some in there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, I why don't you just take and see one. what they look <laughs> like? We have these on the site, too, and they're new for us. So... So it's you like those hearts I've had for a long time that have that raised flower border, but this one has a bezel in the middle. Yeah, it has a tin a tiny bezel. You can make a dome too with the with the clear resin on top. Ooh, that looks looks nice. like a purple cosmos. That's, yes. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. You can make it in like a sky. Ooh, that would actually be a nice design now that I think about it. <laughs> Who said they got here too late? You never get here too late. Ooh, so I was still working. <laughs> Kathy, you did not get here late. Nobody's too late. You know why? 
And sometimes with, if you notice on the silver, if you use like a lighter color, the silver kind of has that darker color on the mm-hmm. corners mm-hmm. and it kind of added like a little purple yeah, on the get, corners. You'll get, you'll get a little bit. Dark. Yeah. yeah you see it? Shadow. Yeah. Mix. yeah. It actually looks yeah. really nice. Yeah. Kathy, you're not too late. You know why? Because you can always go back and watch it. So you made it though. You got to talk to us and we're so glad you came too. It's really great. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Karen. Let's see, what else is a beautiful hobby? Melissa says, oh, yeah, it is pretty. And, you know, I always say we do pretty at Busey Boutiques. You know, I like those organic, earthy boho looks, too. You know, I do like them, but I'm always attracted to pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And even though it may not be somebody's style or whatever, um, they're going to look. <laughs> they're always going to look. That's pretty. It's kind of shaded, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, you can always add some. And more. here's I the just thing don't have with these, left. you know, you don't have to make a great big uh, charm bracelet with it. One of these would make a pretty pendant on a nice yes. delicate chain. Some of that silver bead chain that we have, is our satellite. Just one. So if you know somebody that loves this look, but they're just not into wearing that much chach at once, then you could make them one. And make a pretty necklace of pretty bale. We have some nice bells that go with it in silverware too, so that works. Which UV resin do you think is the most successful? I've never used. No, you've never used it. Well, we carry yeah. some. We carry the one we like, Claire. It's at the website. It's called uh, Resin Craft. Um, but you know what? To be honest with you, I think they're all pretty much the same. Because I used to get mine direct from China. Uh, there's a big factory over there makes and I kind of feel like it's every every thing I've ever used is just like that one I got in China. So I'm thinking, well, they're probably just private labeling it for them, which you know means that uh, somebody decides they'd like to carry resin, but they'd rather have their name on it. In that case, um, if you buy enough in China, they'll even make a label for you and put it on, and it's all ready to go when it gets to you. So, um, yeah, I... I've used several of them, and they're pretty much all the same thing. So, yeah, they are. But I like I like ours. It's the same way as the other one I used to use, and um, it works really good. But like I say, um, don't get too cheap of a nail light. Get one that's maybe like twenty five, thirty bucks. It has a little bit of juice to it, you know, and maybe has variable settings. And then just be prepared. You know, a lot of people think you're going to put something in the light two or three times and you're done. Well, maybe, but not usually. You're going to have to do it more than that because the cycles are slow. I wish they had one that would stay on for like five minutes or something, but I haven't seen one yet, but I keep thinking. Prom earrings, yeah. This reminds me of a necklace I fell in love with in Victoria Magazine. Yep, I remember there's Sherry, because I used to watch the, look at that magazine all the it. time. All the time. It almost looks like it has a face in it, she says. It's like it has little dots. I put little dots of a, that color Yeah, a big heart for a pendant and then the little like ones. Like a polka dot, right? Yes, that would be very pretty. Very, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stick it in the UV. Yeah, I, I love Victoria <laughs> Magazine. I never missed an issue. Did I tell you before I was in Victoria Magazine one time? Really? Back around 1995. No. Yep. Okay, so if once you're done, you just yeah. scrap it up and you're done. And throw it out. Unless Brenda needs it, but I Yeah, there was a <laughs> company in Pittsburgh that used to buy jewelry from go. me and wholesale for their store, and, and uh, they contacted me. Victoria and wanted to put in. So. That's nice. I got it put in. All righty, so are you done there, Miss Hubby? Yep, and um, we can show them after when it's done curing. Yes, like. we'll do that. And we'll show you. So what. now I'm going to show you how I do the decoupage part and how I do push you on my the other thing. Oh, she's going to push my chair up like an old lady. No, it's just you don't hit the camera. <laughs> I, oh, okay. I am an old lady. It's okay, too. It's better than the alternative, I always say, which means I'm not an old lady, which means I didn't make it. All right. So, I have my little piece cut. Now, if you're going to do a bunch of these, then probably it would be good for you to... Ouch. <clears throat> she almost <laughs> smashed my hand. I didn't smash your hand. No, you didn't. I jerked it out of the way. <laughs> okay. 
If you're gonna do a whole bunch of these, maybe you wanna make a make one make a template, which I didn't do this time because I knew I was just doing one. But that would be smart, right? That's what I did last night. So that I could do a bunch of them. And that's rice paper, right? Yes. Could you use tissue paper? Yes. Okay. I like rice paper because it's a little bit stronger. Yeah. I think so. Um, too. It has, you know, you can tell when you turn it over. It's stronger. Tissue paper sometimes will tear a little bit. You know, okay, watch a blob coming out. I'm using, this is Mod Podge now, guys. How much do you use? Just a squid? Uh, just a squeak, but you know what? I think this one got left out, and it's kind of stuck in there. So I have another one someplace over here. Well, I hope Jordan's going to pick that up. He probably will. Okay. It's only three horses. This one I got from the dollar store. It's not Mod Podge, but it works. That, about that much. In fact, that's too much. You just needed a little squirt like I did with the resin. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I call Javi, it. Javi, you know what? You better go out and grab that, because <laughs> I think he might have taken the mail down. Co okay, so here's what I do. I cut my little flower out. You know, if I use, again, I use this paper, which I just crumpled. I use this paper. It's made by Stamperia, and I can't remember the name of it, but I've had this a number of times at the website. That was nobody. <laughs> I figured I should have just told you to leave it go. Anyway, I, I know there was one lady that wanted to call and talk to Jordan this afternoon, so I thought it might be her. Um, anyway, so you just, you know, you just pick out one that you like. Like this one, I like this little cluster here. and just mm -hmm. put it over yeah. that and cut. And what I do, just to show you, what I do with my scissors. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cut this one out. I like to cut it out with some, you know, border to it ahead of time. Um, because it's just easier to cut it down. Okay. So, and then I position it over it and I cut it. Now, what you could do is you could take where your motif is and fold it in, like, in half over it. And that might make it easier. I remember doing that in grade school. Cut yep. stuff in half and then you open it up and it's doubled out. And then you do the heart that? design yeah, just like that. Yeah, like I remember this. that. <laughs> so, let's see how big that is and compared to this. Yeah, it's just about right because it's half. So I would just have to kind of eyeball it. I'm just going to do this and hope for the best because I'm eyeballing it. But if you really want to be sure it comes out right, then you trace it, you know. I'm, I'm bad for this. And I ruin more stuff that way, but it's what I do. Okay, so I got my top. See how close is that. You can always trim it, you know. Yeah. I'm Could you put resin it. over the rice paper or no? You can, but if you do, you need to prep it first. Prep it? Yeah. Oh, like with Mod Podge? Uh-huh, okay. yeah. And you don't want to do too much because it'll get kind of mushy. Okay, so I'm just taking my nail and kind of marking it a little bit. You could take a pen if you want, but if you do use a pen or something, you're going to have to remember to take it, you know, when you cut it, be sure you cut that part off because you don't want yeah. that on there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut below this, and I'm going to Oh, cut really? She says she loves their paper. I'm a stamper, and it's wonderful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, she is. They have very pretty things. I, I do like the paper. It feels really I nice. I love papers. I don't do scrapbooking or anything like that, but I love paper. One of the members of the, of the group sent me a big box full of papers that she had for some time, and... Um, and she just, she's just one of those people who loves papers, you know, so she bought them all the time. She wasn't using So she sent me some. It was so nice of her. And, but it, as it went through it, I was thrilled because I found um, this one that I had not been able to get in years because they stopped making it. And there were several sheets of it. And it was by Kay and Company, if you know, um, scrapbook paper. And what it was is it had all these little squares in it. Each one was a different picture. I love that. I use that so much, and I used to use it as a giveaway, too. And people love those images, but then they stop making them. So, anyway. Hmm. So, you'll just, what you'll do is you'll just keep trimming it till it looks right, basically. So, I'm going to use the one I already cut and have it pretty much worked out. So, and it'll never be quite perfect, so just don't even worry about that. That's true. 
Alrighty, so I've poured this out. What I like to do is I like to take an edge of one of these. And of course, now you know, Mod Podge is water base, water soluble. So you can clean these brushes up after. There's no oh. reason to throw them out. You know, you can clean these up under hot water and soap, and they'll be fine. <laughs> okay, somebody asked a question. That mod cup, is it matte, sat, or glossy? This one, matte would be better, but it really doesn't matter because you're covering it. That's true. This one is gloss, though, but I do know it works, so I, I guess maybe this doesn't matter. I usually buy matte. What's this one? It's probably matte. So this one's satin. satin. <laughs> so maybe I have satin. I like satin. I like satin because it... It has just a little bit of a glow to it. Could you put the deck, you know, the Mod Podge on top of the design too afterwards or no? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Oh, sweet. Because you need to protect it, you know. Yeah. Another thing you could do is put that on there and let it cure for about a day so it's nice and dry. Because it's water-based, you don't want, you know anything getting through it and when it's dry really good so you see i have that on there really nice and neat i could use a little bit more on this one in um but i can't remember what i was saying rats somebody want to prompt me anyway shoot was something i wanted to tell you too i don't come about you put the mod podge on that side <laughs> oh yeah you put it on two sides okay if you want to do resin over it i always like to put mod podge on the top because it kind of seals it and stuff because if you're not doing resin you got to protect it and then when you sell the piece you have to let people know do not get it in water i mean half a brain would tell you that but sometimes you know people just need a little bit of a reminder so you just don't get it in water. but if you really want to protect it after that mod mod podge cures Really good, like a day. Just let it sit for a day and come back. Then you could do the UV resin on top of it if you want to. But again, you want to apply it with a toothpick and just kind of smoosh it around until it gets the borders because it could run over and then you've got a terrible mess. Okay, here's my little trick I do. This is a little bit too big up here. So I'm just kind of patting it down just a tiny bit. And then I'm just going to kind of smoosh it together. And it will create a tiny wrinkle there. If you don't like that look, then you just better cut it more to size than I did. That's all, you know. But, yeah, it, it that kind of gets your little divot here. Just push it together a little bit. You don't really see it. Okay, now, I don't wait to put Mod Podge on the other side, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. And this will not go in the UV light. UV light won't do anything for it. This is not UV type stuff. So you just have to leave it sit out. But it does dry pretty quick. I'll push this up just a little bit. And over. All right. And so then you'll be good. So it's, it's easy. As easy as pie. You could sit and make gobs of them. I'd rather imagine you could probably embellish them like this and sell them again because, you know, people want stuff done already. And they'll say, oh, how cute, you know, what? But, but um, it's, it's really simple. It's just, you know, you got to get your stuff all out and be ready. And now I've got a little bit of junk down here, so I want to get that out. I had, a, I had a brush here. I'm going to take it out with this. So yeah. I don't want that down there. You want to bring it up a little bit? Sorry. Okay, I don't want that there. Okay, so I pretty much got it. I just remembered to... Oh, no, that. you put the sponge in the Mod Podge. Huh? You put the sponge in the Mod Podge. A sponge? Yeah, the sponge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not going to hurt nothing. i got to uh, wash it anyway. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, i got to wash it anyway. So I'll wipe that out. Okay, so this one just needs to cure. And then once it does... If I said I don't want resin on it to make it pop a little bit more, then I could put resin. But I would wait 24 hours, really. You want it bone, bone dry. You really do, okay? So I'm going to set this aside. And now I'm going to clean this off, and we're going to do the last one together. This is one more to talk about. And I'm going to try to do what Javi did now that she showed us on. We'll see how well I listened, okay? So I'm going to throw this out. All right, so now let's see how well I listen because I'm going to use that to decorate this. 
and also get my stuff out so I have it ready. So I have these little guys here, and I have a flatback cab. On this one, you know, you just play with it to make it work. That's it. Just play with it to make it work. Let me sure I get them all over here. In case I need them all, I don't think I will. Anyhow, okay, so now I got this piece here and I'm going to do the middle of it. But first, I got to mix up my resin. So you use this stuff this time, huh? You said it was still mm -hmm, good. It was still good. Okay, so I'm just going to put, you said just a little puddle? Yeah, just a little puddle. Like that? Is that enough? That's a big puddle, but okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a big puddle. Oops. Yeah. Oops. You got to think of the pieces when you're using them. Um, well, this think is a bigger, less of a, it's a bigger I know, piece. but that was should have been still way less. Oh, but I can I could do a few more with yeah, it. Yeah, you can. Out, so nothing's wasted. But yeah, okay. I asked you, so you told me. Okay, so now I think this one was really pink. Which one? I used pink gumball on it. Oh. Ah, if I'm you mix it with the the iris, it just, the purple, it, yeah. even if you mix it in together with the same bubble, yeah. you're good. Yeah. Okay. So again, Javi, show me how much. Well, this, since this, this is, is a, a bigger bit. bubble, you need like I do four scoops of from the toothpicks. Whatever One, get. Two little thing. Four. Two. Four. Think that's enough? Yeah. Okay. Well, why did I do that? That was dumb. Where's the lid for okay. this? Put the wrong thing on. It. Didn't see you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I miss half. I'll have to watch it repay. It's okay. We're we're kind of showing you. Uh, she's going to yeah, be doing. Don't one worry part. about it, Jesse. You're good. You're good. But that's the lovely thing about this is that you can do that. And she says, get it mushed up down in there really Yeah, good. mush, mush right. that perfect pearls. And then <laughs> you'll smash it down. Now, when you do that purple stuff, do you make a new puddle? Yeah, but you could... Yeah, I do make a new puddle. Okay. Well, I, you know what? I don't think I'll do it on this one because I'm going to cover it anyway. Yeah, you're covering it anyways. Yeah, so, that's what I was thinking. Let's try to get it all mixed in there. So I'm not getting <laughs> some that doesn't have any Mary says, that I'm pretty shaky. I have pretty shaky hands. So and all those I. little pearls would end up all over the house. Well, that's okay. happened here, too. My hands shake a lot, Mary. They always have, and then I drink coffee. So you can just imagine. I noticed the gumball one is more, that perfect pearl is more easier to blend is it? than the other perfect They're pearls. always, whenever you They're use it, it has colors, and it seems always like one like that, that... that does super good in the rest now. So I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of it in. And don't worry if the color doesn't go all the way out because we're going to use this as glue. Okay? Yeah. We're going to use it like colored glue. But be careful you don't get up over the bezel. You don't want that. No. Maybe just go slow. Take your time. Just but be sure you get enough in here so it's yeah. going to stick. You don't want to get what they call a star of bond. See, like that right there? Yeah. I, that's not enough. So it does fill itself back in now. kind of self-levels. It does. But, um... Can you go up a little bit, and this, and Yeah. Because they cannot see what I'm you're sorry, doing. I'm sorry. But I can see it. I know, but, <laughs> what's, what's, it's, what's, what's, but it's, yeah, it's, what's the point? What's the point, right? Yeah, I'm at that place where I just don't see stuff unless it's close up. I need to get some of those special glasses. Someday. I got some of those clip-on ones, the cheapy DB clip clip ones to see if they work. I thought, well, they still sell them, so must work for somebody. You know? <laughs> so um, I got them, but uh, no. <laughs> no, you didn't like them? No, I didn't like oh, them. Oh, wow. I didn't like the clip-on ones. Is that better, guys? <laughs> Move the camera. <laughs> Is just be really super careful, gentle, and that you don't get it up on the edge of that. And if you on. think your toothpick is too gropey at the end, just change Throw it another out. toothpick. Throw it out. Sometimes it happens. And you know, see, I just put a bunch on so I can just spread it out. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it looks lovely.
And like I said, I'm not going to put the iris in this one because I'm going to use this as a pink glue. Yeah. And so, you know, color. What about using a sticky stick for picking up the little bits? Yeah, we have one of those. Um, you have a, a pickup pick artist. artist yeah. I have some coming in, though. I'm pretty I sure I ordered that are more like, they're like the old dob sticks. Yeah. And they're like pencil type, and they cost so much less. I like they're that disposable. Yeah, it's nice. I do like that. I think we have a couple in stock. But certain things, like pearls, they don't work that good with those. So I'm thinking yeah. maybe the dob stick will work better. We'll just have to see. Okay, I think that's filled in pretty good. Just yeah, that is pretty good. Just a little bit more in here. I see. So okay, let's turn it around. Turn and I'll get the real picture. Here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do. Well, what did I do this time? I'm going to look. I always, I always look at one I've done already to see. So I had a pearl at the top in the middle, so I'm going to do that. And if you, if you see, I released that. I didn't take it and press it all the way down. I took yeah. it a certain and then I let the let resin grab it. Yep. And that's neater. That that looks neater. Where are you? Okay, so I'm gonna have to get up on this so I can see what's really happening here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And I don't want to get any on that pearl. But it's down in really good because I can yeah, see it, it well welling up around the edge. It looks really nice with that pearl right there. Yeah. So now what I did is I come around the edge and I had one little guy here. So I just dropped them down in, and now I'll move them. No biggie. Okay, so that's there. So then I put one of these. Oops. At least that matches the color of it. Yeah. And then I put one of these, and I'm getting these kind of close, so I have a little space. Now I got it out of the kilter, though. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not supposed to be perfect. Put, oh, here, this yeah. requires patience. Sometimes it does. I'm short on that, but this is a good ex exercise for Yes, it. it is. And not only that, you PB know, resin? Yes, if, it you're, is. if you're in a, uh, if you're an assemblage artist, which I am, you've learned that you Ooh. have to have patience with it. And you notice you can even stop right there and even have a nice piece. Too. Yeah, you wouldn't have to put. You don't even there. have to. So I like. I mean, the, I like mine cute. all filled out, but you don't have to. You could just. You can always do one corner. You could accent it. You yeah, know, however you want. It wouldn't be like gold on the corner. I don't know. That's just me. Oops. <laughs> me going goldy. <laughs> You know, that's just something, you know, for play day, you know, when you're sitting and doing this and mm. just kind of figuring new things out and making a bunch of them, you know, who knows what you figure out. So you see how I'm putting these in place like that? I'm just moving them. Now i got to be careful. I'm going to have it on my bez bezel edge. I'm not going to yeah. like that. Almost done that. So... Okay, so what did I do? Uh, I've got another one here, right by it. You don't have to copy your work. I'm just doing that to make sure I get, yeah, you know, done. I'll put another guy. You can here. have each one uniquely different. Yeah. There Why you not? go. Why not? Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I just don't like that this got out of the middle. I like it in the middle. Yeah. Okay, so I had one at the bottom too, and then the rest was pearls. Are you gonna get? Going to get any more of those teeny bitty itsy bitsy crystals again? Which teeny bitty? Yeah, which one? <laughs> I don't know which crystals. You talk about flatbacks or the little chatons or what? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. We have them in packs. They're not just all clear. They're different mm -hmm. colors. Crystals. I think they're three and four millimeter. We have them back on the side again. If that's what you mean, Gloria. If you mean flatbacks, I haven't bought flatbacks for a long time, and the reason is is nobody buys them. And maybe that's, that's because I never did a lot with them, you know, since I've noticed things work out better for us if I work with them. But I do have not too bad selection. But if you tell me what you want, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Okay. Or point you in the direction of where it is and maybe you didn't see it. Teeny bitsy, teeny little, it's a bitsy. <laughs> the 
it's some like, things I get for a while, and some things you guys know that if you've been with me for a while, you know, you some things I get for a while, and then I don't get them anymore. And the reason is, is because they're not selling, and I'm going to put my money in something else that people will like. Maybe they're tired of them for a while, you know. So. But yeah, I wouldn't mind getting those again. That's no big deal if we need them. Just, yeah. just tell me what you personally want, and we'll try to make that happen. Okay, so I want to put one in there, but I'm going to need a little bit more of this stuff to make it stick. Now you can't see it because I'm way off camera. Okay, I'm just about done, guys, but I'll show you. I don't like right here. Oops, I don't want to drift that much. Right in here. So, um, let's see if I can get another pearl in there. Assorted color chatons. We do have the assorted color chatons. Yeah, I do. Yeah, they're on um, rhinestones. You go under beads, and rhinestones. Just in fact, you'll see a picture come up right there. First thing. Maybe you can give her a link. Yeah, that's what I'm looking. In case she's not finding them. Yeah. We did have to get some more but we, that was recently so i know they're not sold out we got a lot, we have a lot those are really good for mosaic work too so i like to have them come here just kind of drop it in and shove it into place okay i think i'm done this i would wish this was curved around a little bit more instead of going in a straight line like that um so what can i do randomize a little bit. Yeah, we have the vintage glass rhinestone yeah, chatons. Cool. If you type in chatons in the top, that's the first one that comes up. Mm -hmm. And you said they... I just used them in my collection. You can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, if you... If this, that's it, this is where they are. Yeah, let me go. I have to go look at the collection. <laughs> yeah, you know... Uh, we're, we're doing the reveal now in the class. That's true. And the work is incredible. After the reveal is finished, I'm going to start sharing it outside the group. Woohoo! But I'm waiting until everybody gets theirs up. Let's go look. So everybody can see it. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm looking over there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't see them. The more you do it, the better you get it. Anyway, but that's pretty much how that goes. Now I'm going to leave that set, and I have to cure it. So I can't just leave it sit here and, you know, expect yeah. that it's going to do it. It's not. I have to put it in the light. So I'm just going to flick this one over. Yeah, I think there's, you know, they take a while to cure. Yeah, that one will take time because it's got a lot of stuff stuck in it. I don't know if okay. the other ones are stuck. So anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you about that today, guys, how we did it. Because as far as the charm brace is going, you're not going to have any problem with that. You know, we've done that how many times? You guys know how to make a charm bracelet. Um, but if you need any help, by all means, just contact me. You know. But the main thing with the charm bracelet is getting it cut off right, laying them out ahead of time so you know what you need. And then, um, you know, getting your pattern. And then start hooking them up. Oh, and make sure they're all going the same way. One thing about bead link chain is sometimes you have to hold it to make sure that the next link, you don't get it going the other way. Because that can happen. Roll chain is really better for this. than I would not have used bead link for this normally, except it does work. Um, but my roll chain was too bright for silverware. So it's too, too bright. Oh, she has to stop taking things apart. Okay, well, I hope mm -hmm. you have a great show, Claire. Let us know how it goes. Okay? I'd love to hear all your success stories, how good it's going. So, anyway, yeah, that's that's the thing. I like rolling chain. I like also, I think the best charm bracelet chain you can get is the book chain, which I did do special order. And I only carry it by special order now because... 
is frightfully expensive. And, you know, people seem to understand when they buy it special order, you're not getting any deals here because I can't do it. You know, it's just, there's just not enough room for me anymore, especially with heavy shipping. But I will do it and not make very much if I can flip it over real quick. So that's why I do the special orders when I do them. If you ever want a special order, let me know. And then the next time I'm, I'm um, ordering, I'll get it for you. But you have to buy five feet per color. And it, it costs, right now for me, it's $10 a foot. And it really should be more than that. It really should really be more than that. But because I'm not housing it and storing it on the site, I can take a little bit less. For, but I remember we used to sell for like eight fifty eight eight dollars But now, you know, like everything else, everything's going up. It's not because Brenda Sue's trying to, you know, gouge anybody. Brenda Sue's just trying to stay in business. So I hope everyone understands that I can't give well, thank you, Michelle. the kind of deals that I used to. But think of all the stuff we do do together and I don't charge you for it. I think you'll feel pretty happy. So anyway, that's what I got for you today. And I wanted to show you a little mistake that I think is going to work out good for us. Did you get any of this up today? Hmm? Any of this new stuff? Some of it, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. I just wanted to know. Um, do you use... Do I'm going to show you what I got here. Well, first of all, people were asking yes, about we... the swivel toggles. Somebody says they were afraid they missed them. No, you didn't. We have lots. Of, we must be at least 100, over 100, 120 in stock. This is the 19 millimeter one. You was just a lobster claw. What's the big deal? Well, I'll show you what the big deal is. This one has a swivel. See? Turns. Swivels are cool, and they're hard to find. The old-fashioned one that I used to buy, of course, that's the same people who can't get me the bead and leg chain anymore either, so it's the same problem. Um, but I can get these, and these are rather wonderful. And they're really pretty plating on them. So I have these in bright silver, although it goes Angle. okay with this that we just made today. I'm full time. It goes okay with it. Um, and we have them in gold, bright gold. And um, we have the smaller one, the 14 by 9, which we had before, and I just replaced it um, in matte black. But I noticed the guy is not having so much in matte black. I had a hard time ordering. I couldn't get the fancy book chain this time in matte black. Um, there were hardly any eye pins. There were no ball end head pins. Um, there weren't a lot of jump rings. So I don't know what the problem is with that or he just needs to order. I need to talk to him about it though because we need that, you know. And uh, you don't want to get rid of that. Some people think, oh, you know, we got... Uh, we got gunmetal, that's enough. No, it's not, because gunmetal's not the same. Gunmetal's kind of a hematite color, and this is not. And that black is like ebony. You know, Are you going to show them the others? I am going to show them as soon as I get this junk on my hands. I don't want to touch it with junk on my hands. Okay, so here's what happened, guys. This is my find this interesting. I sent in for an order of brass ox, just replacement stuff, you know, and it took a long time getting here. The tooler had to make it for me, so I had to wait like five weeks to begin with, which I wasn't happy about, but what are you going to do, you know? So, uh, so I'm waiting. So they send it over to my plater, and he made a mistake. Evidently, he does a finish that's brass ox that has a shine on it, which I've never had, never knew about. And he did mine brass ox shine, and I'm like, hey, I caught him off yesterday. We had a nice visit, but anyway, I said, so since when in like 20 years have I ever bought a shine on brass socks? I like that matte color. He says, oh, I just made a mistake. Send it back, you know, and I'll, and I'll redo it. Well, I said, well, it isn't here yet. I just got the notice that it was coming. So I thought, let's have a look at it. I don't know if the lights are going to be bright here enough for you guys to really tell, but these are ones I kept for myself. It's kind of golden, and it's got a little gloss on it. It's got a nice lacquer on it. Always such a treat to catch you live. I'm so glad you came, Mary. So glad to see you, too. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah, the swivel class. Joanne always wants those swivels because um, they're cool. But anyway, this is so pretty. If I can lift it up, because I don't know if you can really see. It's just kind of got like a little bit of a gloss to it. But 
it's just more golden. But does it mix with our other brass socks? Yeah, yes. yeah, you could do it, but I'm not putting it in with the brass socks. We're going to put it up separate on the website. I told him I was going to keep it because we just fell in love with it. It's so beautiful. When I opened that box, I'm like, where have you been all my life, you know? So we're going to put it up separately on the website in our new category called Brass Ox Shine. And we're going to see what you guys think. And if you like it, then I'll buy some more. And if you don't, I won't. And I will just keep buying matte brass socks. Or if you like this better than the mat, maybe I will discontinue the mat for a while and just do this. I don't know. It's going to depend on what you guys do with it. You know, I don't know if I can really afford to carry both lines. I wish I could. I'd like to. I'd like to carry um, shiny gold on brass too. I did for a little while and then I didn't anymore because it's just stretching me too thin and it's an expensive finish. This is not. Um, but then, you know, people were wanting it on the pewter stuff. And I just couldn't do both. You know, I wanted to have it to mix, but I just I really couldn't do both. So um, I discontinued the one on the brass. But now I can't get as much pewter stuff because the price has gone up a lot. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it would be good to do a small line of shiny gold. Like do mounts and stuff like that, you know, on the brass, which will be cheaper and it won't cost you guys as much either. So I don't know. I'm just kind of fiddling around thinking about it, thinking about you as I do it, what you will like. And hope I hope I read the situation right. But anyway, this was a mistake. It came in and we were just so nuts about it we couldn't send it back. So hopefully you'll feel the same way. She says she likes it. I like it. Very versatile, I think. Lovely. Oh, that's a cool finish. I think so too. So far we have those two right up the This this one and this mm -hmm, one. The we have these are these are up in case you wanted to buy one. Um we have a lot more to go. I've got two flats yet that need to be um sorted so i may get that done over the week and then diane will have me be putting it up next week so maybe by this time next week we'll have it all up i don't know it just depends on how things go um but anyway yeah it's got a beautiful it's almost golden it's got that to toasty underneath you know but it's almost like a golden dark patina golden beautiful like old gold so anyway that we'll have that for you real quick so, having said that, I'll tell you this too. If you give me an order tonight or tomorrow, um, I'll give you a little piece of this so you can have it and look at it. I can't give you the real big pieces because I didn't buy that many. But I'll give you something nice. So it would be a nice sample that you can see and look at, Okay. And as far as the silver stuff that I had yesterday, that was for yesterday only, and I did run out. So that's over. But I can give you a piece of this if you put in order. Just ask for it, okay? Hey, Jordan, Brenda said she, you'd give me a piece of that uh, new brass sock stuff with the shine, and we'll make it happen, okay? I like the brass, like the brass sock. She likes it. Interesting to see how that takes color. Well, I will tell you what, Colleen. Anything that's got more of a lacquer coat on it may be a little more difficult might be i don't know i haven't tried it uh, matt the regular brass socks that we've always had for years and years it takes color really well you probably know that it takes color really really well this may take working with it a little bit more or maybe not maybe it depends on what you use you know may, it probably depends on what you use so it'll be interesting to see how that goes so anyway, okay, guys, I thank you so much for being here today. It was so fun to be here. And then I'm going to figure out in a little bit who all was here whenever I can bring up the, the feed again. It might take me up to a day because sometimes YouTube doesn't publish it.